What is up guys, it's Mike Chimamo here and welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all welcome to the 11th episode of my Gothic 3 Path of Adenos playthrough. Now in this particular episode I will first go to Nordmar to hunt some ice wolves. Um, I think I need about 10 to 20 ice wolf skins so I'm gonna get 20 to be sure and afterwards we're gonna go towards uh, teleport to Montera and then from Montera we're gonna go to Trellis. So without further ado, let's go to Nordmar. Still in a leggy mood today. Time for a smoke. You smoke all day, my friend. But I don't blame ya. Let's go hunting. I will also complete a uh, well, walk with the guy up there to the ancestor tombs, but the first one in Enrage, but I don't think I will be able to clear the entire room myself, so normally I take going along with that, but I'm only here to hunt for some ice wolf skins because I will need them in the desert. I think it was for the desert city uh, Ben Sala, I think. I do need Shadow Beast ones. About two of them. Let's see if we can find another Shadow Beast somewhere around here. Sorry about the uh, leg spikes guys, I hope it will solve itself relatively soon, because normally it's only loading up in the beginning, you know, but uh, the last two days, today and yesterday, it's a bit, uh, you know, laggy-ish. And trust me, turning down settings will not fix it. Do you come from Faring? Yep. All right, you can help me. I'm pursuing a thief. Do you need help? Yes, I followed the thief here. He went down to the city. I can't get past the orcs. Who is the thief? A fat man in a dress. He comes from the south. There, the deserts aren't made of ice, but of sand. You mean Ali? Yeah, that's his name. What was stolen? An ancestor stone. The legacy of our forefathers. I'll get you the Ancestor Stone. Hurry. The spirits of the dead won't rest. Ancestor Stone? What's that? A magic stone. You can use it to gain the abilities of the deceased. Sounds good. Believe me, nothing is good. The dead are awake and won't let you into their tombs. You have to fight. And I'd rather take on a dozen orcs than a ghost. What are you doing with an Ancestor's Stone? 
I'm an orc slayer from the Fire Clan. I'm supposed to get the power of its creator and then use it to kick the orcs' butts. The power of a dead man? How is that supposed to work? The creators of the Ancestor Stones wanted to protect Nordmar, even beyond their deaths. That's why they created these stones. Who was robbed? Me. Someone ambushed me at night and robbed me. They probably thought I was dead, but I'm not going to make it that easy for the thief. I'm going to get my stone back. I thought I picked it up, but I didn't. Alright, so let me quickly get the Ancestor Stone. Um, ferry. I will take the Ancestor Stone to Nordmar. Agreed. Here, take good care of it. Will do. reason why I'm gonna do this quest instantly is so that I can use the fella as a uh, some sort of a companion since I don't have Gorn with me. Also need to find one more shadow beast so I can would be great if I find one um, so that I can teleport quickly before going to Montera to Okara and deliver a quest for one of the rebels who wants two shadow beast horns. But eventually I will be able to complete them, you know. I will make sure that I have them completed before I start the liberating for the orcs. Where does this lead to? Let me check. to the nothingness. Now this can take some time, you know, the ice wolf hunting, but uh, I do need them in the desert for a uh, blueprint on how to build a ship, which I need for one of the quests in, uh, what was it, Sil Silden, I guess. I'm pretty sure it was Silden. Here is your ancestor's stone. Very good, but I'm not sure if I can do it. Do what? Enter the cave. I'm no coward, but I won't let myself be slaughtered either. I'll keep the stone and wait near the cave. There's a hut there. If you want, we could go together. I'll come with you. Fine. Let me know when we can go. What are you going to do with the thief? For that, I have to get my hands on him first. But he isn't important. The stone is important. Let's go. Now, I'm not quite sure if you can lure him, uh, lure Ali out. I don't think you can. So uh, I would just, you know, instantly go and hunt there's another one of those damn beasts <laughs> miserable creature Don't worry about him, he will wait.
because uh, I need to search for icy wolves. I at least need 10 skins, I think. Maybe it was even 5, but I'm not sure and I don't want to Google it, you know. So I would just make sure that I at least got 20. Should be enough. Because Nordmar will be one of the last areas that I will actually eventually go to. You know, now I'm just here for the hunting. There are more of the beasts. <laughs> you showed him. No one will miss you. Another one of those damn beasts. <laughs> no one will miss you. Wait, you idiot. Ah, you just don't get it, do you? Ah. Ah. See, that guy screwed it up for me. But I, I also messed up a bit, just, just a tiny bit, you know. The beasts just won't leave us in peace! You showed him! You're no great loss. Miserable creature. I'm not so miserable now anymore. Because they're dead. A dead goblin is a good goblin. A magic ore. I have to get that one. Right, so he's he's there. So 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trigger the rhinos to walk. Let's hope he doesn't mess up again. He shouldn't, but... There will be another pack of white wolves, which I do need, but I need to we lure them later. over the bridge. You're no great loss. Just hang on and uh, just a bit. Don't run away too far, you know, otherwise you get spawned somewhere. Could be in the beginning, but also the end. Let me quick save here again because this next area will be um, filled with at least about three to five ice wolves. The beasts just won't leave us in peace. Good job, mate. Five ice wolf skins. But I need more. Let's see if I can find more. Without losing sight of Rathgar. I do hear them. You're no great loss. That's seven, and let's see if we can find more. The beasts just won't leave us in peace. Saber chief tigers. No one will miss you. Now that was kind of cruel to say, uh, Rathgar. I don't see any ice wolves. Near the hut where you will go, there will be also be a couple of ice wolves. Beasts. 
Oh dear. I know it's not you, dear. Look, that wolf is smart. <laughs> Look at them go. And now I have about 10 ice wolf skins, I think. Yup, 10. So I will deliver him um, because I think, you know, I'm pretty sure 10 was enough. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't there a mine here? CC. This is the tomb. Right. Here it is. Here is the tomb. But I won't set foot in there. There is a hut above the cave. I'll stay there for now. Padar is a good friend of mine. Who is in the tomb? Anar, a great warrior of my clan. Orcs fell upon him from ambush. He didn't have a chance. But before he died, he took 30 of the bastards with him. When was this orc attack? That was long ago. But Einar's deeds are still praised today around the campfires of my clan. Is there any treasure in Einar's tomb? There are tales, but no one knows if they're true. What sort of tales? Some of us believe that his helmet was buried with him. That sounds good. I don't know if the helmet is really magic. No one knows. If you want to find out, you'll have to go see for yourself. Indeed, but not today. Alright, um... Where can I quickly get a Shadow Beast Horn? Hmm. Yeah, let's just go to Montera. Because uh, out of my head, I got no clue. Because this is for Nord Mine Pacific, the Tiff Clan Bar. Oh, we're just going there to gain some Ice Wolf skins. Well, let's hope 10 is enough. And uh, whatever the cost, I cannot sell it. Alright, so let's go towards Trellis.
Oops. Trellis, we're also gonna get um, our better druid capabilities, the transformation of the snapper. But that will be in the episode of Trellis itself. It's uh, between Trellis and uh, Geldern. Forty-five percent with ranges. If I can get it to seventy-five percent, I can instantly purchase the ranges heavy armor, uh, which is the ranges rope as well as the druids rope, uh, which both of which I need. And uh, since it will, it's easily done. Um, you know, I don't have to purchase the old cheap versions. Although late game, I will just purchase them for show. You know, I will keep all the mercenary armors. I will keep. Uh, all the rangers armors, the druid armor obviously, and the robe of the water mages. Let's quick save and then get the quests on this little farm done and then we're gonna head towards Trellis Which will be, this will be a relatively short episode but sometimes that's good Another mercenary. Did you come to make trouble for us too? Beat it! We've already suffered enough Take it easy kid. Otherwise I'll have to teach you a lesson Come on then. I'm not afraid of you It's time somebody taught you some manners. Then show me what you've got. Now we'll see who's stronger. Hey, uh, 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 with what? Uh, it's a missing saw. Nothing to be had. Let's saw until he is uh, ready. You know, at least his work gets done. with this can't we just get along damn every bone in my body hurts what do you want from me anyway you head case a servant like you shouldn't talk so big servant i am no servant i know important people who um the orcs at the temple excavation to the south for example I can't go on like this. who exactly um the overseer yeah, that's it. The overseer there. What's his name? Why would I remember? Those orcs all look alike. I don't believe a word of it. Really? I worked for the orcs at the temple. My shovel must be lying around somewhere over there. Really? Take a look if you don't believe me. And what's in it for me if I find your rotten old shovel? 
If you bring me my shovel, yes, I'll tell you how you can get your hands on a lot of gold. Really? This is getting you better and better. Hey, I may be a hothead, but I'm not a liar. Got it? We'll see. I think I'll just come by now and then to smash your face. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll keep my mouth shut. Now, if you want to, you know, grind sauce, um, which you need for King Roba. Now, I'm not quite sure if this is gonna trigger some problems. Let's just check it. Now you get another saw. I need about 10 hammers, I need 5 saws, and I need 20 pickaxes, I have 21 because I need one for myself. I'm just gonna grind him a bit until I have 5 saws, so I have, you know, the uh, insurance that I can deliver them instantly to the man in Varent, to one of the merchants. It's always the little guy. It's nothing to be had. See, it works like a charm. Because the uh, saws are one of the hardest to find. Afterwards are the hammers. And the hardest of all, of the easiest of all, better said, are the pickaxes. So I will just grind him a bit, you know. It's always the little guy. with this sorry buddy let's wait for him to stand up again and then I will heal him as a gesture of thank you because he does allow me to get the source Nash Groom. Haha. <laughs> it's always the little guy. Now there's a chest behind it, uh, Inu Inuit statuette. I'm not gonna take it yet because it uh, is related to the guy's shovel. But I can already pick it, you know, it's not that. It's really that important, but still. Okay, there you go. <gasps> 300 gold coins. I bet you came to demand the rent, right? But I cannot pay. Those thieving scum have stolen it all. Oh, damn it. See? Here they go again. There are more of the beasts. <laughs> <laughs> You showed him. I hate the beasts. Oh, sorry about that, guys. What about your rent? The rent money I was going to give Tellus has been stolen. Those dirty little bastards. Where do those thieving goblins come from? They keep coming here from up north, stealing like there's no tomorrow. There must be a nest somewhere along the river. I wish someone would find it and sort them out. Then I could finally do my work here in peace. Show me your goods. Why does no one ever sell hammers? Because uh, they are one of the most trickiest ones along with the saw. Well, the saw is relatively easier due to the fact of the grinding possibility. Um, 
maybe that's also possible with the guy in Silden. I'm gonna try that. I'm not entirely sure. I do need a Shadow Beast Horn. Uh, don't need. I do need a teeth for sharpening arrows. It's not much, but every little bit helps. Um. Yeah, so let's go to the cave. Now, if you guys can give me a couple of minutes, I'm gonna go to the toilet real fast and uh, get myself something to drink. So I'll be back in like two minutes max, you know, so uh, be right back, guys. Let's uh, set by the campfire so that I can uh, regenerate you a bit. Should go. Otherwise we'll both my get in trouble. HP. I, I just want to sit at the campfire, mate. There we go. Be right back, guys. That's all we need. Well, I'll think about it. Yeah, someday this will all be over. Or why not? And it gets worse. And... Who stops growing around? Never change. It's not like that, it'll never get anywhere. Well, we have a big problem on the door. You better stay out of it. I don't know if you're right about that. Well, I'll think about it. Still, I don't like it at all. Or why not? Well, we have a big problem in the building. Probably do it yourself. Yeah, someday this will all be over. Are you serious? I don't think I want to hear this. Who stops growing right now? And it gets worse and... Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, so let's take care of these uh, thieving uh, gobos. And uh, normally I would do this, you know, with trellis. But since this on the road towards trellis, it's allowed to be done in the episode before that, you know. Um, but normally I would mix it with. Uh, Charellas, but the last few episodes were long, you know, um, Montero was a long episode Gotha was a long episode Faring was a long episode and uh, Each city will most likely be big in some sort of a way, you know but 
I just basically do this for now on this particular path before going to actually trellis um, so that it's different than the other playthrough you know because technically speaking yes it is connected to trellis but it is on to the road to trellis um, but you know otherwise it would have been a relatively small episode which was would be fine as well but I, th I think in the overall this is a bit easier <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. It's the same with uh, what was the farm, Dominic's farm. You know that is also quest related towards Montera, but it's on the road towards Montera, so. I completed it then as well, you know, it's uh, I think a bit more efficient to do that that way. <laughs> 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 But if you want to have it, you know, um, if you want to have the entire Montara actually in one episode, it will be, you know, quite hard to um, timestamp it all because uh, my in my last episode in Montara, um, the Path of Adonis, this one in particular, it took me about nearly two hours to get Montara done, and that was without Dominic's farm, without, um, you know, the um, the bandits in between, you know, still haven't killed those. <coughs> 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 but the thing is, you know, the bigger the episodes, the harder it is to manually and uh, to perfectly, basically, timestamp them. And, um, you know, it was already full with my current Montara so let alone with a bit more you know so I will just do it conveniently and if you guys want it the other way around you know that's fine just let me know in the comment section and I will do it with the second or the third path depending on whether impossible Am I already busy with the second path or not? You know, by the time that people ask for it. So, if you want all the quests, literally all the quests of one specific area into one specific episode, same with Ortega, the bandits, and you know, the cargo goods from uh, one of the uh, Cape Dunn merchant warehouse keepers, then the episodes will be tremendously longer and uh. <coughs> That would mean that I first have to go, for example, to Cape Dunn to get those quests and then get them, you know. Um, but then again, it will also show it a bit more efficiently, but then it could be harder to timestamp it, you know. Um, but it's possible nevertheless. So if you want that, just let me know in the comment section down below, you know. Let's save for the second Goblin Wave.
I didn't loot them already. Were they again on the attack? Or I just forgot them, I don't know. Let's talk to the guy here. The cave of the thieving goblins to the north has been cleaned out. There will be no more goblins coming from there. Thank Enos. Now there will be some peace and quiet on my farm. Thank you very much, stranger. May this little reward help you on your way. So no wave? Okay. So let's go towards the gates of uh, Tralis. Now I will go to Tralis before going in over there. Uh, before I will go into the temple over there. I uh, accidentally released my push to talk button. But I'll firstly go to Tralis, you know, um, before I will go to, to that particular temple up there. Due to, you know, good reasons. Because that is an actual part of uh, Tralis. <laughs> Otherwise, this episode might become a bit long. And I will try, you know, to get the episodes as clean as possible, but also as efficiently as possible. But in the end, nevertheless, always make sure, you know, to use my time descriptions to your heart's content. Oh, wrong button. Because I make those timestamps for you guys to use, you know. Even if it means getting paid less in the long run. You know, it is what it is. That went uh, relatively well.
One of the critters has bugged on the ground. Check what we have here and then uh, go to the gates. Alright, guys, so this is about the uh, end of episode 11. I want to thank you guys all for watching and. Uh, if you like what you see, feel feel free to subscribe and if you do hit the notification bell, um, feel free to leave comments behind, post pos positive or negative, that's entirely up to you. And uh, thumbs it up or thumbs it down, whatever you think is worthy of giving it to my channel um, or to my YouTube videos in general. You know, whatever makes you happy and uh, I hope to see you guys in episode 12 where we're gonna go and complete the quests 90% of all quests of trellis because I already did one quest uh, in the, at the farm over there well that's you know let's go to the next episode I hope to see you guys there and uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys next time